you know what? I feel really bad for what I did and hope you will keep watching up to the end in order for you to understand my pain. I mean, I'm recording this intro now just after disappointing one of my subscribers, I guess. Of course, he was just a random chess player that I challenged on leeches, but he was playing my Brazilian defense repertoire exactly the way I recommended it in the video that has popped up in the card above. You need to watch that. So I don't want to spoil things for you guys. Let me just show you the live game before I do some quick analysis just to see where I went wrong or where my opponent probably went wrong. So let's go and let me know what you think you guys in the comment section down below after you watch this video let's go all right here goes nothing i'm planning to play the bishops opening e4 so bishop c4 followed by knight to f3 next whoa wait a second queen e7 could this be the brazilian defense which i presented let me go d4 but i'm expecting to see pawn to d6 and c6 okay so there we see d6 let me go knight c3 so that maybe i can put my knight on d5 but i expect to see point to c6 if my opponent knows what he is doing c6 stops knight d5 or knight b5 yep so let me go knight g e2 the idea is to castle short and play pawn to f4 later on okay so queen c7 indirectly protecting the e5 pawn my opponent is doing exactly what i preached about in my gondoram video so with f4 i'm trying to yeah take him out of theory a little bit black just took on d4 and i played knight takes d4 next i want to play Pawn to e5. I just want to create an imbalance to surprise my opponent a little bit. Rook e1 is also in my mind. Okay, so there we see b5. Let me go pawn to e5. Harassing black's knight on f6. And also inviting t takes e5. After which I'll play f takes e5. Yep, so d takes e5, f takes e5. Now attacking the knight. Not to mention that if the knight moves, I'll take on f7 with my bishop supported by my rook on f1. Oh, so b takes c4. Let me take the knight, I think. Messing up black's pawns. Yeah, on the king's side. So g takes f6 by black. What do I do next? Maybe queen e2 check. Or take on f6. Yeah, I think rook takes f6. Just winning a pawn because I still have bishop f4. Attacking the black queen. Okay, so bishop g7, bishop f4, I think. Attacking the queen. And let me see what black is going to do here. I still have rook d6 and queen e2 if need be and also rook e1 i feel so good and i feel so bad at the same time okay so queen b6 i think let me go knight d5 since the c6 pawn cannot take my knight it is pinned to the queen by my rook so knight d5 yeah like seriously i feel so good and bad at the same time for punishing my opponent in this way if at all he is my subscriber because i just presented the defense that he played last week and i promised that it's a solid defense but this looks like losing for him but i guess i have no choice hope he will learn one or two things okay so he just gave up his queen finally i and now he's a queen down i think i'm winning this queen e2 check followed by bishop d6 i think this should be winning okay so queen e2 check or king f8 i think king d8 was better or king d7 next i'm going to mate on f8 after queen e8 check Oh, my opponent just resigned, which is a sign of respect. I think after queen e2 check, he should have played king d7 or king d8. But I still had great moves. Besides, he was down a queen. So let me just show you how I was supposed to win this in case you are behind. Okay, so the only move for black was to play king g8. After which I was going to play queen e8 check and bishop f8 only move. Then queen takes checkmate. Okay, so let's look at where my opponent went wrong let me just do a quick analysis and please don't go away if you like this video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if at all you haven't already because that's how you encourage me to keep on making more wonderful videos just like this one you can do that during this short break in four seconds so let's go all right so here we are let's see where my opponent went wrong so i started with e4 and then my opponent played pawn to e5 again this was not a paid actor you guys bishop c4 is what i played called the bishop's opening one of my favorite openings after which my opponent played queen e7 which i would have played if i was black but we are looking at this game from my opponent's perspective because i want to see where he went wrong so as white 
I played pawn to d4 in this position because that's what seemed to be obvious in my eyeballs. So queen e7 on move 2, you guys, is the introduction of a very quiet and unpopular defense called the Gondoram defense, or simply the Brazilian defense, which I covered in the video that is already in the card above. You can check that out, you guys. Very amazing video. So in this position, I, as white, played the move pawn to d4, and my opponent responded with d6. In case I took on e5, my opponent was going to recapture with his d-pawn and still maintain his pawn structure on the queen side. The game from here may continue as follows. Knight c3, after which I recommended to play pawn to c6 in my tutorial video, even though knight f6 is playable. Pawn to c6 just stops knight d5, because this pawn guards the d5 and the b5 square. But how do we develop our bishop if our queen is sitting in front of it? Well, here is one way we can do that. Let's say knight f3, knight to f6, and castle short. So this is where I recommended to play pawn to h6, stopping knight g5. You can see this attack is very deadly, you guys. And how do we develop this dark squared bishop? Well, we can do that maybe after something like this, 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 this. And well, you need to be a little bit careful not to hang any of your pieces, for example, the a7 pawn. And like this move, see how white cannot even play moves such as knight a4, because we can easily take the pawn on e4. But the way we developed this dark squared bishop is by putting our queen on c7 first. And let's say something like this. That's when you go knight bd7. Look at this beautiful defense, you guys. The next thing will be to develop the bishop and castle short. So I covered some of these things in the video that is in the cut above you guys. But what did my opponent do? Let's see. So after I played pawn to d4 and then my opponent played d6, I did not take on e5 because I already know this. And so I just played knight c3, developing a minor piece which was doing nothing. And then my opponent realized my intention, which is why he played pawn to c6. And this is when I realized that my opponent was playing whatever I taught in my tutorial video. Knight g e2 is what I played with an intention of going pawn to a4 just to challenge my opponent's center and confuse him a little bit. He played knight f6, just doing everything normally. Castle short, that's what I did, ready for pawn to a4. And then he played queen c7. You see this queen again, indirectly defending the pawn on e5. I talked about all these you guys in that amazing video. And I've never seen anyone else on YouTube covering this line. Anyways, I played pawn to f4 and I knew my opponent was going to be confused seeing all these pawns, which is why I expected him to take on d4, the move that I didn't even cover in my video. The problem with this move is that it allows pawn to e5 in the near future because my opponent is behind in development. He hasn't developed his dark squad bishop. He hasn't castled short. By the way, the best move here after pawn to a4 should have been something like bishop e7 preparing to castle short as fast as he could. E.g. after bishop e7, in case of pawn takes, he was just simply going to take back. And after this, the game is just equal, you guys. And here I should even be very careful because there is queen c5 check that would win the light squared bishop. So taking on d4 wasn't a good idea by black. The other move that I would have played if I was black was knight bd7. So that if pawn takes, I take back with my pawn and still maintain my attacking chances. This is considered to be favorable for black according to stockfish. So after pawn to a4, my opponent all of a sudden took on d4, allowing me to take back with my knight and ready to go pawn to e5. He played pawn to b5 trying to counter attack, but here I had a better move, pawn to e5. You attack me, I attack you. So do me, I do you. After d takes e5, I took back with my pawn, he took my bishop and I was glad to take on f6 because now I have rook e1 check and also just doubling half his pawns along the f file, after which I was happy to win that free pawn because I had bishop f4 coming next. And after bishop g7, attacking my rook. Anyways, I played bishop f4. You attack me, I attack you. So this is my chess you guys this is what every strong player plays they don't just retreat their pieces or defend queen b6 was played again you attack me i attack you i noticed that this pawn was pinned to the queen so there was no c takes d5 which my opponent played by the way and the rest is history i can safely end my analysis right here so i hope you guys have learned one or two